Hello guys, welcome back. So today we're looking at a new Portuguese build order. This little Portuguese buff's given us loads of build orders uh, to work on, which is absolutely fantastic. This time it's a 19 population uh, double range archer rush, and uh, we don't need deer with this one either, so it's quite a good one. Um, so the first thing, usual start, uh, build your two houses, send your first uh, uh, three new villagers onto the sheep, give you a total of six on the sheep, or llamas in this case, and then uh, once you've got that we're going to lure the first boar. So uh, I tend to find that with these Portuguese build, build orders, especially when we're doing these fast ones, um, we need to get that boar in first, um, just really helps with everything else. So um, yeah, quite an interesting uh, little sieve these are going to be now that they've had this little buff. So just about to get the boar in. Keep going around doing your way scouting, find all of your all of your deer. You should be able to have, have found your first at least one of the boars by this point, especially if you're scouting with your sheep. Um, well, once we've got that one, the next two villagers are going to go onto the straggler trees. So, as you can see, we are using the uh, build order overlay that's been designed by Crafty Salamander. Uh, you'll find a link for that in the chat if you want to download it yourself. It's just so that build orders on screen whilst you're playing. Uh, but any of the build orders that I'm making for this, uh, you don't get with the build order overlay app. It, uh, app. it does come with quite a few uh, itself, but all these uh, custom made ones by myself, uh, you have to get them via a perk of being a channel member. So if you do want them, then uh, do consider looking at the channel memberships. You can get your own board orders as well as PDFs. And um, so once we've had those two on stragglers, one of them's coming out, we're going to make a mill and then go to barriers. And the next one's going to come out and make a house and go to barriers as well. And then we are going to want to lure that second boar with one of these existing villages. So that's where that one goes. And then the next four villages to come out are going to go into barriers. So we're going to have six on berries. And then as soon as you've got 100 wood, you can uh, send those two villages to make a lumber camp. But I'll speed it up a bit because there's not really much happening at this point. Whilst we wait for those berry villages. Right, so just leaves us with three more to get. They're going to go over to the, to the wood. And then we'll research loom. And then we should be good to click up. So I've got a, a sheep there ready, or a llama ready for when that boar expires. I'll be able to go onto there. Um, it is a little bit tight when we get to the point of clicking up. So probably when the loom's about three quarters of the way um, researched, you want to take your berry villagers and just drop them off and chuck them back on berries. Uh, but you'll probably have to do the same with the those, yeah, the sheep villagers. So I was a bit late doing it with the berries. Um, so probably could have uh, prevented a little bit of idle time that we did have there from that. But once that sheep's done, we'll send send them all onto straggler trees, uh, apart from three, get them going over to the main wood line. So we're going to have eight on wood, on one wood line, which is going to be quite, you know, it's, it's a bit much. Uh, I generally suggest seven as a maximum, but uh, you can kind of get away with eight, so it's fine. Uh, but then when we're about halfway up to feudal age, we're going to send two from gold, uh, wood, straggler trees over to gold. And you can see there we've taken a villager off, we're about, probably about a third of the way up. Uh, taken one off of berries to make a barracks and a house. We'll be going over to gold in a minute. Helps if I change the build order overlay thing um, and then once we've hit the feudal age we're going to take one off of berries another one off of berries and that's going to help make the uh, ranges because as soon as we get into the feudal age we want to make uh, two ranges get double bit axe and then your first four new villages are going over to gold so we'll have a total of six on gold uh, but there you go you see we took another one off berries uh, it's going to go back on the berries once it's finished the range and the other one's just going to keep building houses and walling up You'll probably want to make another house with uh, one of your lumberjacks at this point as well. And those two villages who were on straggler trees, we'll put them onto the sheep. There's quite a lot happening straight away uh, once you reach the feudal age. So, um, yeah, it can be a little bit fiddly that, in that respect. But as soon as your ranges are up, you can start creating archers from, from both of those. Uh, having six on. Uh, gold would be enough to maintain the archer production for the two ranges as Portuguese. 
So you'll probably want to add another one later on, uh, but we'll be taking one from barriers to do that. So at this point, um, once we've got those four on gold, we're just going to keep adding new villagers on to food. So whether that's, um, well, you probably want to send them on to sheep to start off with, but eventually start adding farms. Um, this builder down here, uh, as you can see, we've almost got enough wood for uh, uh, bla uh, blacksmith. So we'll get that soon and start uh, looking at getting fletching for those. But we've pretty much got about five six archers on the way um, as soon as they've come out just send them forward start harassing your opponent and as you can see we're just adding more villagers onto food um, once the berry villagers have finished what they're doing on the own berries we're going to send four of those to a new lumber camp uh, on a different wood line probably take two off of this one as well just so we've got six on each lumber camp and one of those villagers from berries is going to go over to gold and just help us out with uh, not only being able to afford uh, fletching but it would help us just start saving up for the uh, castle age as well but yeah generally all your new villages are just going on food at this point and uh, once you've got fletching in you should be good to go and that is it for this build order guys so if you want to see more portuguese build orders uh, then do consider subscribing because we have got quite a few that we're going to be doing and uh, i'll see you on the next one